Hi, y'all. It is July 30th. And just got this package back from AGS, where I graded two cards from my childhood. Sent them a Charizard and Typhlosion. And we'll start off by coming to a video where I show those two cards off before sending them to AGS. It is June 23rd. And this is the card review before sending them to AGS Automated Grading Systems or Robo Grading. First we have the Typhlosion here. Don't really see any issues here. Of course it's in a penny sleeve inside of a semi-rigid already, so... Not sure if you can see anything. And on the back side... See some stuff on the top corner there. Some edge handle, edge there, top edge. I don't know about that. Oh, no, maybe that was just dust. Yeah, just some edge wear, it seems. Well, in any case, I'm hoping for a near mint anyway. I don't know if I was going to get it. I have some damage I just can't see. I've had this Pokemon card since I was since 15 to 20 years. Take a look at the Charizard here. I had this Charizard same length as the Typhlosion. Can't see anything on the hollow, maybe? I don't know if there's a scratch or not. Do you see anything there? On the back side, some corner wear. Pretty sure there's a some sort of scratching that's actually hidden behind this sticky note I'm using as a pull tab. Hard to tell what's dust and what isn't. So I've got obviously some corner wear there. Not as bad there, but yeah. Still hoping for a near mint, regardless. I don't really know what will qualify. But yeah, this is just a. Uh, review of the cards before being sent for grading in case they come back with uh, worse than expected grades. And now it's time for the grade reveals. All right, we'll start with this one here. Case feels all right, I guess. Um... Clear like a uh, BGC. Trying to figure out if which one this one would be. Is it Charizard or Typhlosion? We got a ding up here. 
Ignis and Charizard. Oh, Scar the Great, I think. Oh, this is Typhlosion. Uh, I'm not sure. I don't, I don't think I see anything. And the grade is 6.5. Close to near mint. I wonder what the issue is. Obviously, the edge stuff. All right. So this one must be the Charizard. We got something at the edge right there too. It looks like. Actually, if I shake the thing, the card doesn't move, like it does with the CGC case. I guess that's a good. Corner damage, I guess. Corner dings there. Yeah, oh, looks like a corner is bent. Okay, turning it around. I don't know, it's kind of like the type of I can't really tell. And I got a near mint. Woo! -hoo! And if you scan the QR codes, I guess they'll show the cards on our website. All right, some more type lotion here. 6.5. Surface is a three. What? Edges were six, 6.6 6 overall. Front surface is three. Wow. Back surface was three. Back corner was three. Back edge was three. Seriously? Three? This is a three? This must, must not be visible. I wow, really? Three? Is the service really that bad? I don't see the increase or bend or anything. Got uh, three. Wow. All right, let's do the Charizard. All right, back with the Charizard here. 7.5. Let's see what we got for uh, overall. Way better than the Typhlosion. Got 6.8 surface overall. Edges with 7.4. Corners 6.8. I guess the worst score was the uh, corners on the back. So looking at the corners on the back. Yeah, that one. Is okay, that one's okay. Yeah, seems like AGS is a tough grader. I just can't believe this thing got three for service. I just don't know what the issue is. There must be a crease then or something. I don't know. I do not remember seeing a crease. I kept this thing in a top loader. For like 15 years, I guess. Oh well, I'll take a 6.5 overall. And I'm happy with my near mint.